Welcome back everyone, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, here with another Hero Breakdown video. Now, I cannot remember for the life of me who suggested that I do this video. I will try and find them again in, in the comments and put them in the description below. Just know if you are who I think you are. I was thinking about you when I started to make this video. With that being said, let's go into it. Jaden is an interesting legendary commander. He is one that can be obtained completely for free, can be awakened for free. You will get his relics just for playing the game. The only other legendary commander to do this entirely free is Maxine. You will get her relics over time for participating in events. Jaden's comes from Memory Trip. The further you get memory trip, the more free stones that you get. And you will get just under 12,000, so you can get three per day. And you can pretty much empty this out every day. I'm going to pick these up because Heroes Recall doesn't give a damn about where the relics come from. And I can trade them in for universals later. Also, duh. But let's get back to Jaden, and I'm going to break him down in my usual fashion. I'll talk about his skills, different ways you can use him in combat, a good talent tree build for him, and what commanders you can pair him with to get the most out of him. Without further ado, first skill. Now, this is Awakened. Before you Awaken him, it's damage factor of 8,000, 4,000 when acting as Vice General, which just means secondary. And at the same time, reduces defense to the attack squad by 25% for 3 seconds. It's a very nice debuff to one of the defensive stats. And it's very useful for increasing damage for all of, the enemy, for all of your allies around you on that particular target. And it's a 3 second debuff, which is really nice. I believe Lee's is only for 2 seconds. Now granted, his is far more substantial. But... A three second debuff is just one more second for your, your allies to get a little bit more hurt in. Now, he is locked to being a leader because of his weakened skill damage as a secondary, but we can work around that. Second skill increases damage dealt to zombies by 25%. He's a zombie hunter. That's fairly standard. Second part of his skill. When attacking a zombie, there is a 10% chance to heal lightly wounded squads by a heal factor of 1500. If you have been hunting zombies for any period of time, you're not hunting them by yourself. I mean in the sense that you're sending more than one squad out at a time. If you're sending four to five squads out like you should be doing, you're going to end zombies, regardless of level, in about five to six seconds. You likely won't even get skills off. Which means, this skill won't activate about half the time. And even when it does, it's a measly 1500. If he's fighting by himself, I can see this being more useful. Second part of this skill is throw away. Just ignore it for the most part, even if you're trying to plan out your zombie uh, teams. This isn't going to activate enough to count as a heal factor. Third skill, when using a basic attack, there is a 20% chance to reduce skill damage taken by 25% for 3 seconds. This is another nice little buff for yourself. 1 in 5 chance, no limit on how many times it can activate. And skill damage taken reduction by 25%. Let's do the math for a second. 1 in 5 chance for 3 seconds. That's about a 60% uptime if none of them are overlapping. If it reactivates for any reason, you can not they do not stack. I have checked that. They do not stack. It just starts over. So if you had one second left and it triggers again, it goes back to three seconds. Just so you know. But skill damage taken, 25% in a world of so much AoE damage. It helps. Zombie Hurting. Increases squad attack and squad defense by 12%. For a legendary commander, this is very small. 
However, it is not focused. The other commanders tend to have boosts for squad defense and HP that are locked to a particular type. Jaden, he doesn't care. He is indiscriminate on what he's going to use to kill you. Awaken skill, if you noticed before, ups the damage factor and increases the percentage of the defense reduction. 5%, it's nothing to scoff at. 5% is right about the difference between uh, difference and troop advantage. So keep that in mind. It's a 30% reduction in defense and a little bit higher attack power when he's awakened. Now, I primarily use him in arena or if I really need an enemy team to be weakened. And I don't care how much I lose to do it. In Arena, he tends to hold on to a commander where... Here, let me just show you. He has a use in my Arena team simply because I use primarily infantry, and he doesn't hate using infantry. I tend to stick Alex with him because the defense will help keep Alex alive. I can get a little bit of damage out of him. And it's not going to hurt Alex overall. Because I have different uses for Rigoro or any of the other commanders I would normally pair Alex with. I thought I had my arena team set up. I apologize. I've weakened myself for other people to take my rank. I personally pair him with Jaden. I have been known to pair him with Lee. Because while Jaden is still going to be one of the targeted commanders. He's not as targeted as Lee. And I have used Jaden Lee in order to hunt down zombies in Pompeii and to weaken my enemy in Island Raid. If I feel like we can establish field control over a rally and... I can weaken the enemy's defenses with both Jaden and Lee, whose debuffs stack. We can get a, we can focus down that rally a lot faster. But if you need to pair him with anyone else, this debuff will help any heavy single target damage dealer. If you're just trying to throw something together, get it on the field. Any single target damage dealer will work. Jaden Adut, I used that pair in Arena for a little while until I discovered Charlie. You can pair with Catherine early on. Basically, he's a good filler commander. If you don't have anything else to put in there, it's not going to kill you to put Jaden in. He kind of sits right towards the bottom of Legendary Commanders, but still better than Epics. So if you're trying to switch out an Epic from your Arena team, or if you've got a 5 team that you're trying to make work for you on the field, Jaden can kind of fill a spot for you. Now, Talents. I know I kind of skipped out of order here, but I wanted to talk about his strength. This is how I built him. Because I tend to pair him with commanders that don't really care about troop type, I have paired him with Lee, for example, in the past, I went ahead and picked up both segmented defense and joint attack for a little bit more of a boost. You do not have to do this. You can pick up additional points in attack if you decide to go that route. I wouldn't advise against. I would advise against it. I personally do not like Victory Pursuit because it's not enough of a buff to constitute putting points in it. I believe it's a six percent buff to attack while after you've defeated a squad. I can get that five percent right here just for putting a couple of troops in a different type, and it doesn't hurt him. You can also. Stack some points into the 
additional point uh, additional nodes over here and here so you've got two four six eight points you can throw right here to get out of these two if you decide to that way you can have a single troop type and not hurt yourself that is entirely up to you this is my talent tree and I have no problem running 99% infantry and half a percent in other things it doesn't hurt him now I already talked about his commander pairings I apologize for getting out of order but this is how I use Jaden as an infantry main he is helpful for me to weaken my enemy just a little bit more now if you have any questions about this commander please feel free to leave them in the comments below uh, if you have any other content ideas or would like me to go over any of the other heroes in the game, please feel free to let me know. And again, I have set up a Patreon where I'm trying to get new content made specifically for Patreon. Uh, still in the setup phase, I admit I don't have much in there right now, but I'm working on it. And any support you could give me moving forward would be geared towards making that better for you all. And with that, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.